Hello, my name is Tiffany C. Wright, and today we have another helpful tip from the Resourceful CEO. Today's helpful tip is, if you do not already have one, craft a shareholders agreement. <laughs> so it's shareholders agreements. If you, you operate a corporation and you have more than one investor, um, especially if there, if there were two or more of you who founded the corporation, I mean, typically an investor comes in at five, 10, 15% and they're a minority investor. So they may not weigh as heavily in the decision-making and that's a different topic of discussion. We'll discuss minority shareholders in a different helpful tip. But if you own the corporation with others, and you you all operate the co the corporation. No one is a passive investor. Um, then you need to document how you're running the company, and you do that in a shareholders agreement, or you can do it in a buy sell agreement, or both. Um, well, don't put the same information in both, but you can split the information between a buy sell agreement and a shareholders agreement. But here's something that's very, very extremely important to remember. What happens to, to the company in the event that you become disabled or pass away? You get hit by a car, you get cancer, you get sick. What happens? And you own the company with two other people. Does your spouse step in and take over where take over the running of the corporation now that you are unable to do it? Does your son or daughter, does a friend of yours, does your attorney step in as your, as your, or whomever you have assigned um, powers to, uh, the power of attorney to, but who, what happens? I mean, I'm, that's exactly the way I'm trying to convey. I don't know what happens, right? <laughs> I'm so confused. That's what happens when you don't have a shareholders agreement. You're confused. The other shareholders are confused. You don't know what to do. And now this all there's this whole element of uncertainty. And all you had to do was take several hours and hammer out what you wanted to do with your company and document it in the shareholders agreement. Get your um, attorney to craft the correct lingo and then everyone sign it. Do it and do it now. Even if you've been operating for seven years and you haven't had any problems, put one in place. Do it, do it now. You don't know what could happen. Also, if you look at another helpful tip, I talk about partner breakups. You can, in a shareholders agreement, you can outline the division of responsibilities and so on. Again, what you talk about, what you communicate, what you express to one another, document it. Document it in a shareholders agreement and then if there's ever any any uh, any question about who said what or who's going to do what and what you all agreed to you go back to the agreement and there it is you can always change it if you've decided that the way you initially structured it doesn't work for you now you now that's fine but at least you have something documented that you can go back to and make changes to and that's another helpful tip from the resourceful ceo Thank you.